Jason. Yes. What did you do? How'd you f*** up? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Uh, uh, so, I've been going out with this uh, chick for a while now, and mm-hmm. things, things have been great. Like, really great. And the last time we went out was good. Yeah. Like, she she has a 10-year-old. Okay. And he normally spends the weekend at his dad's place, but this weekend is dad had to work so he was at the house and we just kind of chilled out watched some wrestling on we network yeah and it was a blast like we had a really good time okay so you got along with the kid and everything oh yeah i think the kid's awesome i get along with him very well Hmm. okay okay i don't i don't know what happened ever since then she's not getting back to me so nothing weird happened like you said you got along with the kid like was it a thing where you got along with the kid so well that you ignored her no, no, because, you know, the kid went to bed, he's 10, and then we had some fun ourselves at, at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you made everybody happy that night. Exactly. Oh, he's a giver. He's a giver, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Well, you definitely deserve, you don't deserve to be ignored. Okay, well, you hang on the phone, Jason, and we shall uh, give her a call and, and see if we can get you another date. Hello. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh, hi, is this Amanda? Yes. Uh, Amanda, I'm sorry for waking you up. Um, this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. Um, c- can I explain to you why we're calling? It's actually for a Wait, good... okay. Who... So, okay. <laughs> we're calling you from the radio station, but it's because we got your phone number from a gentleman who wanted us to reach out to you. Okay. Okay, so it's a guy that knows you, and he would love to ask you out on a date. And the reason we're asking you on his behalf is because if you say yes, we will pay for whatever date you choose. So we'll let you pick the restaurant, the day, the time. Uh, we know you have a, a young son, so, you know. Uh, how, do what, you know how do you know all this? Well, the gentleman told us he knows you. And he, he wanted us to call. So some guy that I don't know who it is, you know, it's all about my life, called the f-ing radio station. No, you know. Yeah, yo, you know him too. You know him too. His name, I, how about I just tell you his name and we'll go because I feel like you're getting a little angry without knowing what. The, the, you know what time it is? Like you're, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. This is weird. I know, I'm sorry. Um, so anyway, the guy's name is Jason and you guys actually. Yeah, have, nope, nope, I'm dead. <laughs> Jeez, wow. boy, nope. that got her up quick. Uh, yeah. nope. So Jason <laughs> spoke to us, the, you know, he told us that you guys hung out a bunch of times. He said the last time you guys hung out, it was great. You know, he said your son was there and you had a good time. And he just got. Yeah, Tell you the whole story? Did he tell us the whole story? I, I think he told us the whole story. What, what? What do you think we missed? Yeah. So we had a good time. We were we were watching TV. Uh, my son was actually there. Normally he's with his dad. Yeah. On weekends. Mm, okay. um, so we're sitting around. We're watching wrestling, and everything was fine. Kid goes to bed. We go off to my bed. Well, wait a minute. I got I got to back this up. Okay. <laughs> Part of our fun of the evening was I like to partake in edibles. Hey. Oh. Wow. All right. My, my kind of woman. Go ahead. She might not need to say any more after that, hey, no, but okay. No, no, you part- well, okay. So I go into the bathroom. I wanted to put on, you know, some sexy stuff. Yeah. And I come out. Uh huh. And he's standing on the bed. Yeah. Uh huh. Wet naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wearing only my son's wrestling belt. <laughs> your son's what? His son's wrestling. Your son's wrestling yes! belt. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And this he, is amazing. And he's screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> Woo! Call me Dick Flair. Dick Flair? Oh, <laughs> wait. my God. Stop yeah, that, it. This, this isn't even why I'm upset. Oh, oh there's he, more. He woke up your he's, son? <laughs> he's a decent looking guy. He really is. Yeah. So it wasn't like it was unpleasant to look at, and I was stoned, so the whole thing was kind of funny, you know. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The next day, I I take my son to his dad's, and I get a phone call later. Oh, man. And evidently, where he got this belt was because when I was in the bathroom, he goes into my son's room and is like, dude, dude, give me me a wrestling belt. I want to f*** your mom. (laughs) Oh, no. No. And See, I think this what would be is funny. wrong with him? Now, 
Okay, you could. You okay, know what, this Amanda? was fun, and you then it just right went there. so dark. Yeah, J- I'm, and I'm sorry to tell you, Jason's on the phone right now. J- Jason, come on. Uh, I, 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 I have no recollection of this. Yeah, no. of course not. Jason. No, 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 no. I am so embarrassed. Stop. You walked into her son's room and said, I need to borrow your wrestling belt so I can go f*** your mom. No. Can you imagine <laughs> hearing somebody say they want to f*** your mom at right? any <laughs> But it can? Oh, my no. God. No, no, look, look, there's there's no way. There's no way. I, I, I oh don't my God. it at all. It has to be those edibles. Don't be blaming the f***ing no. me. No. Did you take the normal amount, of, like the normal edibles that you usually do, or...? Well, yeah, but these ones were a hybrid. Like it was, it was a different I, blend I, than. See, I than f-ing f-ing knew it. I uh, f-ing knew it. Listen wait, to wait, him. wait! I don't know anything about edibles. Okay, okay. I, does it? Is it possible for you to really forget no. something like yeah. that or say? Amanda, you're saying no, but I'm gonna uh, yes. Like if you're used to. In, there's indica and sativa. Indica in the couch. Like, you take it, usually yep. relax. Okay. Sativa gives you a little more of, like, the jolly feeling. The woo! Yes. Okay. Yeah. A sativa, depending on how much of a dosage you take, you might get naked with a wrestling belt and hop up uh, on a bed. And might, say uh, something right like that to a 10-year-old? And tell a 10-year-old that you're about to f*** his mom. Look, oh, look, my look, God. Look, 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 look. He was excited. I, yeah, <laughs> it I, sounds look. like. So your son told his dad. His dad. Which that, means. He called me furious. Holy shit. Because once I heard that, I was so stunned. Like, what do you say? Wow. But no, I don't want I don't want to go out with him again. Like this was just so far over the line. This is just like <laughs> wicked ridiculous. Can I just say the visual of him naked with the wrestling belt on the I bed? Know, I'm gonna God. have that in my head if the rest of the day. If you didn't tell the son you were about to f his mom, that would have been an amazing <laughs> oh, amazing end to the evening. And I think we might have had a chance for a second date I if know. he hadn't have said anything to the to the kid. I, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> <laughs>